Hey everyone, welcome to another video. My name is Hans and today I will show you exactly how you can manage every single one of your cold email inboxes directly from Slack, which is something that, um, that has been a dream of mine for a while and we finally figured it out. So if that is something that you've been dreaming about too, then make sure that you stick around. Um, so to give you a quick intro um, and a bit of a background about me, I used to run my own cold email agency and back then, one of the main pain points was the ability to, or at least, um, I should probably say, the lack of the ability to manage all my inboxes from one centralized location. So um, everyone lives in Slack, whether you're running your own agency and you're managing 50, 100 inboxes for clients across different domains, um, or maybe you're you know, just in sales and uh, you need to manage you know, one, two, three, four, five inboxes, but you just wanted to have everything centralized. Um, everyone lives in Slack pretty much these days. So um, trying to do all that from Slack just makes the most sense. And that's something that, you know, that we figured out. And that is what I'll be showing you today. Um, so for the uh, tutorial, we'll use Make, uh, formerly Integromat. Uh, a couple of reasons why we use Make and not Zapier. Uh, main reason is that um, it provides with a lot more flexibility. It's cheaper than Zapier as well, especially if you're talking about managing multiple inboxes. So if you're going to um, work as an agency with, uh, with a bunch of domains and a bunch of inboxes, then using this is just a lot cheaper and, um, in my personal experience, easier to manage as well. So um, well, do I'll start sharing my screen. I'll show you guys the tutorial. I'm not going to go super in-depth, so I already did the build. I'm going to show you, you know, what I did, why I did it, more or less how I did it. Um, and then, you know, you should be able to replicate this on your own just by following along with the steps that I'll show you today. But if you're saying, like, hey, listen, I don't want to spend, I don't know, a couple of hours to build this or to figure it out, then uh, I'll put a link. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, I'll put a link, you know, down here or wherever with um uh with you know that goes to gumroad where i put the exact blueprints of what i'm building so you can download the blue the blueprints you can grab the google sheets template that we'll be using as well and you can just um import that into uh into make um, and that way you can set everything up um depending on you know whether you're new to make or not you can set it up in probably 15 minutes and that will save you a lot of time and it will make you a whole lot more productive so let's dive in. I'll start sharing my screen with you. And there we go. All right. Yes, you're seeing that. That is great. So um, here's what we're going to do. I have this channel already. It's called Hans Test. Now, usually we obviously use a different channel. But for now, for the purpose of you know, testing this, um, and as you can see, I've been testing it a little stuff in there. Um, I've created a new channel called Hans Test. The idea is that you can have a channel um, with, for example, you know, your, your sales inbox, if you have maybe three or four inboxes that you're managing for yourself or hack even one, uh, you stream that into Slack, you can manage it from there and that's it. Or if you have multiple clients, then you just have, you know, client number one, client number two, you have all these different Slack channels. And from there, you're managing all these clients. Uh, you don't have to, you can also just stream all of your clients into one channel. Because the way we're setting this up is that whenever you reply to an email, the reply goes out from the email uh, in the same thread from the same email the, you know, the, the actual reply was sent to. So technically, you could have you know, a sales inbox channel and have all the replies in there. I know I've heard people talk about how they wanted that before. If that's something that you want, this is how you can do it. Um, it might be a little bit trickier to keep it organized, but then again, you can put information in the channel that shows you, okay, you know what, this is a reply from this client, from that client, even from that campaign. So that's, um, that's how it goes. So let me just uh, show, start by showing you Make. Now, if you're not familiar yet with Make or Integromat, it's, um, uh, it's more or less like Zapier. It's an automation platform which provides you a little bit more... Um, flexibility um, and it has some other integrations than Zapier. It's just, it's, it's a bit different and it's um, uh, probably a little bit, uh, it's a bit more for people who have a little bit of technical 
knowledge or they're at least willing to you know learn that while Zapier you can just really easy in a couple of clicks set things up usually except for obviously the uh well the exceptions yeah. so this is what we have there are only two parts to this and there's the inbound emails so that is something you would have to set up for each and every inbox so basically imagine you have 100 inboxes uh you just go here you clone that one 100 times and you set it up for each and every inbox that you have to keep that organized you can have different folders so you can say you know what i'm going to have you know all my clients in there or whatever works for you and then the reply sender is the one that you know listens to the replies if you have multiple channels you need multiple versions of this one so again imagine you have five clients five different channels you clone this one five times and you set up a different channel in the first step. But I'll show you how what that looks like in just a second. So that's everything we need. Now, we also, we're also going to be using a bit of a database, which is Google Sheets. And in here, we will actually, um, what we'll do is we'll store a timestamp. So Slack timestamps every single message. So we know exactly which message it is, but we use it as a unique identifier. This is the Google thread or the Google email, Gmail ID. So we need that to tell Google, um, send the reply in this thread. So instead of sending a new email, it'll send a reply to, you know, um, uh, to the same email that you want it to be sent to. This is the subject, um, so we need that as well for the subject. We just put like re or reply in front of it. Then this is the um, the where the email went into, so we need that to say, okay, you know what? If the email went into Hans at getline.net, send it from Hans at getline.net. If it went into Andrew at getline.net, then you route it a different way. You send it from Andrew at getline.net. So that way you're sending it from the right inbox. Um, and then this is, you know, where, um, where we got the email from. So let's start with the, um, the, the streamer listener, however you want to call it. So this streams your inbox into Slack. It listens to your inbox and every minute it will look for new emails. So how that works is, um, basically you, you have all these integrations here in make, and you just look for Gmail um and well i already have it here and then you tell it to watch for emails and that is the one we have right here now what you do if you don't have that set up yet then you click add right here and you add a new connection so it just works with google auth so you click add you add the new inbox and now you have that available as a connection then you can filter. So if you're saying, listen, I only want replies to cold emails, then that's obviously completely fine. Um, and then you can filter for that by saying, okay, um, only send me emails that have quick question in the subject, if that's you know the same subject you're using all the time uh, or whatever works. So you have different filters you can use. I'm not filtering now, but you can obviously play around with that. Uh, only unread emails, the ones we've already read, uh, don't process them again. And I'm asking you to only send one. Um, you can increase this number, that's no problem, just to make sure that months slip through the cracks because it only listens every one minute. So heck, let's increase it. So that's it. So this, every minute, it will check your Google, your Gmail inbox for, for new emails. That's all that that does. And then what we do, the next step, is we send all those emails, we will send them to Slack. So Works the same if you don't have a connection yet, then click add. It will walk you through the steps. You know, um, uh, it will add integrate to Slack. It will ask for permissions. You give it the permissions and that's everything. Then this, you can either select from a list or enter manually. Now, obviously, you want to select from a list. Um, it can be either public channel or private channel. Um, and you have a couple of other options as well. I just made it a public channel. Could be a private channel as well. Uh, if that's how you work within Slack. And the channel that we're using for this case is Hans Test, but you would call it inbound, like sales inbox or whatever. Then this text right here, this will be the text that is actually going into Slack. So as you can see here, I'm telling it to send me the, the subject line and the actual text of the email. So you can see, you know, subject line, 
um, and the actual text of the, the email right here. So that's what that is doing. Now you can obviously add more to it. So the good thing is once you click here, uh, it will um, it will show you all these dynamic options that you can map. So you can tell it, you know, the date, anything, whatever you they they send you, um, you can obviously drop that in there. So you have a bunch of you know um, options. The sender name, for example, just to just to identify exactly where it came from. Um, and then you can check the Slack documentation because they have a really specific way of formatting things. So if you want to make things look really good, you want to bold the subject line and then have like a, a line break and then the text, you can obviously do that. But it requires a bit of different um, uh, styling than other platforms. You just, you know, you can check the, the Slack's official documentation and then you can just go nuts here and make that look wherever you think that looks pretty. Um, you can build blocks as well. And what you're doing with blocks is you can add buttons, for example, which is great. Um, actually, I will show you the block kit builder. So they have a bunch of cool options. Um, you can have, heck, you can have an image in there. So you can have the image of the person who replied probably in there of the inbox. Or if you're working with multiple clients, you could have that in there. Um, and then, you know, they can, these can be... Um, that there are buttons that you can have, as you can see here, you can have buttons in there as well. Let me see a link button. Um, ah, there we go. So then these can be different buttons. For example, um, the thing is with this, because it's in IntegraMap or Make, um, you can integrate with pretty much anything that you want. So that is the great part about this. You can say sync to CRM, negative reply, um, add to unsubscribe list, for example. Those are the options that you have. So then when you click sync, sync to CRM, you just have another one that says whenever the button sync to CRM is clicked, whenever this or that is clicked, then sync it to HubSpot, Salesforce, Pipedrive, whatever. So with this, you can, you can build some really cool stuff and you can really just manage everything from directly from Make or Integromat. Now, I didn't put that because every single person has a different CRM that they're using and all that. So um, I didn't put that in there for now. If there are a lot of requests, I might build some templates for the most popular CRMs out there uh, so that you know, all that can be done. Um, and you know, that can you can have a date picker in there, so you can set a reminder saying, um, remind me to you know follow up next week with this person, um, or set a reminder with my CRM to do that, so you can have that option. And there should also be a drop down, I think. Um, well, I cannot really find that now. Uh, yeah, here we go. On their inputs, I think there's a drop down. What well, kind of find it? But um, then you under a drop down, you can have different options as well. Uh, so you can have a bunch of options. You can mark it as a certain type of reply, for example. So as you can see, you can build really cool stuff around all those inbound replies. But for now, we kept things basic. Um, you can say I'm a basic guy. So um, all this, you know, you can just or you download the templates. Uh, these templates, they're available uh, in the link that I, I, I put in the description. Um, if you want to try, so for example, reply broadcast means that whenever there's a new reply, if you tick yes here, it will um, uh, it will be made visible to everyone in the channel, or it will, for example, tag everyone in the channel, so you will get a, a direct notification. Um, and so there are a bunch of options you can have. You can have like a, a certain emoji. So whatever there's a new reply, you know, um, make it a different emoji or when it's a different type of email, that will have a different emoji. Um, so that way you can, uh, you can keep things organized. You can identify um, different, you know, different emails. So that's that. You can play around with that. That's all good. But one thing that you have to do is... Um, uh, under username or have to do one thing I did, um, I put the name of the of the bot pretty much. So I put the um, the inbox name as the name of the bot. Um, I don't think it shows up exactly as I want it to be in here, but the idea is there that um, so if not specified, the full bot name will be used. Um, 
So if you're using a bulk connection, if you added make actually the actual make bit to uh, to Slack, then you could set there, for example, the name of the inbox. So it will show you, okay, a reply came in into this inbox or that inbox. So you know exactly maybe for which campaign it is, for example. So that way you can um, uh, keep things even more organized as well. So that's, you know, that's everything. That, that, it's a lot of information in the end all that you need is to say okay i want to go into this channel and you need to define the text that you want to stream into the channel and all these other things they're optional so uh, basically only this is something that you want to think about then once we do that we need to save it uh, we need to save the message because later we want to reference back to the message we want to make sure that whenever whenever we're sending a reply that it sends it within that same thread so what we're doing We've created a Google Sheet. And again, you can download this exact template. Um, you can download that from, uh, from the link. Basically, all you did is need is this Slack timestamp, the Gmail ID, the subject, the uh, to inbox, and the from. Um, and then, um, again, here, you set the connection. You add your, you know, your G Suite account right there. Then you tell, select from a list my drive and then you select the file that you've created or that you've downloaded so the select inbox management is the file that's our database then sheet number one because we only have one sheet in it then yeah we have headers we just saw that then select timestamp has to be you know from the message the actual timestamp so that's that one right here because we use it as a unique identifier then the gmail id is a thread id which you can find power you can find it here so we'll know in which thread it has to send that subject. We're saving that one as well. So that's obviously the subject right here. Um, and then headers basic deliver to, that is us. So that's the inbox that the email came into. And we need that as well. And then the sender is whoever sent that email to us. You can add more stuff you want, but that is what we need for our database. That's everything. So this is number one, the inbound emails. Like I said, if you have multiple inboxes, then what you do, you, dupl you duplicate the same thing a hundred times if you want, then all you have to change is in here, you just add a new email. So you do that for all the emails, you add them in there. As far as I know, you can have unlimited connections, you, tr you throw them in there. And that's it. All these other steps, they're, you know, the same, unless, you know, for one inbox, you want them to go into a different channel, you just pick, you pick a different channel from here, but everything else should, uh, should stay the same. So we save that and that is number one, and all that does, it sends new emails to Slack and saves them in our Google Sheet database. So that's that. Then the reply sender is a little bit more tricky, but you know, we'll, uh, we'll show you how it works. So um, what it does, it, it watches our Slack channel. So in this case, the Hans test channel, it, it looks for new messages again, um, every minute, that's the, the lowest interval. And um, it looks at the Slack channel, the Hans test one, and we'll just work with one message for now. We can we can set this, um, we can put this number higher as well, but for now, just I'm just going with one. So that's how we set that up. You go to Slack, you say, you know, watch public channel message. That's the one you're picking, which I think is the first one. Um, unless you're, you've set up a private channel, but you know what, I'm not going to go into all the different variables and options. So you go with that one, you set that up the same way it's looking here. Then we reference back to the Google Sheets we just looked at. So that's our database, it's like inbox management one. Sheet number one. Um, and then the filter, what we want is the Slack TS, so the Slack timestamp is um, is the same as, as this. So basically what we're doing, we're going to search for a row. So what we're telling Integromat, I'm just going to keep calling it Integromat because that's what I'm used to and I prefer it. If anyone's watching from Make or Integromat, uh, you got to change it back. Um, so it's going to look within that Google Sheet and it's going to start looking, okay, um, the, the thread timestamp that the reply was sent to. I want to find that row. So let me show you what, what that means. Um, so we're here in Slack. And what we're doing is we have this right here, right? So this is an email we received from Coptera. So whenever you receive an email, you're going to say reply in thread. Then I'm going to say, okay, thanks. Sounds good. Bam. 
then I'm going to check this box right here. Also send to our channel, reply, and that's it. So then what Integromat is going to do, it's going to grab the text from our reply and it's going to look in which original thread it was sent. And how it identifies that original thread is by the select timestamp that we saved here. So that's what it's doing. So we'll look, okay, what is the original thread number? Slack gave that to us. So they're giving it to us um, under, you know, root timestamp. So we'll say, sorry, um, the thread timestamp is this one. So that's what it belongs to. Oops, we'll say, okay, you know what? That's good. Now we know to which, th to which thread this message belongs. All the other things we can just leave alone. All we're doing is we're going to find that thread in our database, right? And then we're going to route it because we have different email inboxes set up. In my case, if you only have one email inbox set up, you just, you know, you go with one. So then what it does, it will say, okay, from the email inbox, it will send the reply. So it will send it to, to who's going to send the reply? To whoever we got the message from. That's who it's going to send the reply to. So let me just close this because it's messing me up. Um, so that's who's going to send the reply to, right? That's the email address. That's the recipient. Now, what is the subject? The subject we have right there. And we probably should put re in front of that because it's in reply to that subject. Um, I will double check if Gmail adds that automatically. I don't think it does. So this is how we want to set that up. Then HTML, plain text, you know, uh, whatever works for you. I haven't checked if plain text looks good actually or if that needs additional formatting um, and then the text so the actual content of the message we want that to be this right here now slack gives that to us in the form of text so here under text let me see text um, it actually not on the root here, the first one. So root, gotta be careful. This is the original message. So we don't want that. We want the text sub right here. You see, uh, where did I put that cool sub? There we go. There's the text. We want that part because that's what we actually want to send. So we click here, content, we go to text. We click that one and then it will be added there. Then from, um, it will automatically, um, it will automatically find that. So you can set up something custom uh, or anything like that. But um, uh, it says right here, normally make, use the email address that you enter when creating the connection as you send the address. So I tested it, the email went through okay. So we're not gonna touch that. Uh, if you wanna be sure or whatever, you can just add the email address in there. There's no problem. So that would be uh, from, because we saved that. So you can do that. Um, and then, um, again, it's either, you know, this one or that one, but then again, we can leave this one empty. So that's okay. So again, you can pretty much ignore this. Um, and then in reply to this is, you know, to which email is in reply. So that's what we want. The email thread, the Gmail thread ID, which we saved right here. We're going to tell Gmail, Hey, this email that we're sending is in reply to that thread, to that email that you sent us earlier. So that's what we put right there. And that's everything. Um, and that's it. So um, let's see, this should be right. Yeah, there we go. So one quick note. So we don't want to use the Gmail one right here. If you're setting this up from scratch, but the email one, right? Because the Gmail one doesn't give us the in reply to option. The email one does, the Gmail one doesn't. So keep that in mind. And that's everything. Um, as you can see, we've set up a filter here uh, because we want to route things conditionally. So what we said that if, you know, the, um, um, the two email address was Hans at getline.net, send it to this one right here. Because here we have set up Hans at getline.net. If we have multiple inboxes that we're managing, don't do that. I want you connected to this one. Then we're going to change that filter. We're going to say, you know, if if there's a new reply, find what that reply is. Then if that came in to um, 
uh, if they came in two, uh, should be two or from, now I'm confusing myself, two, yeah. If they came in two, um, this inbox, then send it to this one instead, because this is where I'm going to set up, you know, sales rep at getline.net. If you have another inbox, you clone this one again, you hook that up and you're saying, okay, if two equals to um, sales rep number two at getline.net, then send it to that one because this is where I'm going to set up sales rep two at getline.net. And that's how you do it. That's how you set up all these different inboxes and it will look, uh, okay, to which inbox does the email belong? This one, that one, or that one? Great, then I'm going to send from that one. So this is how from one channel you can manage all these different inboxes, basically. That's the idea. Again, if you're a bit lost, um, rewatch the video, just follow along because I've showed you all the steps, or um, just go ahead and grab the, uh, the blueprints, and then you can just say, you know, I'm going to import the blueprint, and it's all set up for you. So let me just delete these. You know, I'll keep one. Why not? Um, and that's it. So that's everything that we need to manage replies from Slack to manage, you know, our inbox from Slack. Then again, just a quick reminder that whenever you're here, here and you're sending a reply, so you hit reply to thread, um, and then you're going to say, yeah, this is my reply. You click this one, also send to the channel, and then you're going to send the message. And then it will actually go from your, uh, from your Gmail inbox. That's it. Um, that's the video. That's how you manage replies from Slack and that's how you manage all your inboxes from one centralized location. If you found that helpful, where well, you know what to do, subscribe and like and all that good stuff. I would appreciate it. If you didn't find it useful, if you think, you know what, I'm lost or I have questions, um, well, there's a comment section right here. So please feel free to ask and I'll try and respond to everyone as quickly as I can. If you need a custom build or anything, let me know. Then we can potentially work something out. Other than that, I appreciate you watching. appreciate your time. And then uh, I'll be dropping a lot more cool videos like this one. Well, videos that I hope you'll find cool. So if that's something you're interested in, then please subscribe and put your notifications. And then you'll be the first to know. For now, thanks for watching. Uh, for me, it's Friday. So have a good weekend. If you're watching this on a different day, have a great rest of your day. And hopefully I will see you in the next video.